71% of our elected officials are men and they don't know shit about birth control. Birth control is about more than just contraception. Have you ever been kicked in the nuts repeatedly? Like over and over again? <laughs> Well, that's what it feels like to experience menstrual pain. And that's why 31% of women and girls take the pill to ease it. And then there are the women, 28% of pill users to be exact, who use it to regulate the flow of their periods. Now I realize words like flow might be uncomfortable for you, but if you wanna regulate my access to birth control, you're gonna have to deal with it, flow. Anyway, 14% of women use the pill to control chronic acne which studies show can even impact your chances of landing a new job. And I'm gonna let you in on a secret. Some women use birth control so that they can have sex without getting pregnant. Newsflash, that's a good thing for those women and also for their partners who aren't ready to be parents. After all, contraceptive access has been proven to reduce abortion rates. Side note, if you are using birth control for fun, consensual sex, more power to you. And for the lawmakers who really believe that telling women to stop having sex is a real alternative to birth control, let me set you straight. You're not telling men to have less sex, ever. And you wanna keep Viagra covered by insurance. Viagra. If your fantasy ability to chase us around with your four hour erections isn't up for debate, our contraceptive access definitely shouldn't be either. No matter what reason women have for using birth control, it shouldn't be lawmakers business or your boss's business. Birth control is basic healthcare. American women already know this, and now you do too. So share this video if you think the Trump administration needs a basic lesson about birth control, and join me to take action with the United States of Women.